Hi, I'm Chalendra Rijal, Area IPM Advisor with University of California Agriculture and Natural Resources and Statewide IPM Program. In this video, I'll tell you how to identify and monitor brown marmorated stink bug in your almond orchard. Early detection of brown marmorated stink bug is critical since it has the potential to cause damage throughout the season in contrast to the native stink bugs and leaf-footed plant bugs. Therefore, management for the brown marmorated stink bug can be more challenging. In season, feeding on the nuts can cause external symptoms like multiple gumming spots, yellowing or light brown specklings, and internal damage like pinholes, water soaked spot, corky necrotic tissue, or internal gumming on developing kernels. If feeding occurs early in the season, it can cause significant nut drop. Mid to late season feeding on the nuts can result in kernel damage that includes gumming, shriveled kernel with dark sunken spots, and dimple kernels. To trap poor brown marmorated stink bug in your orchard, hammer a five foot long wooden stick into the ground one foot deep. Affix a 9 by 12 inch clear sticky panel trap to the top with a lure attached each trap. At the beginning of March, place a minimum of three those traps per site at least 50 feet apart along orchard borders. Place traps in the orchard in bordered row facing potential overwintering shelters like wooded or riparian areas, homes, barns, wood piles, or early season preferred hosts like Tree of Heaven, Catalpa, or open fields. The brown marmorated stink bug adult is a marble brown, silt shaped bug that can be confused with other stink bugs like conspire stink bug or the rough stink bug that also may be found in your orchard. To distinguish brown marmorated stink bug from other similar looking stink bugs such as conspire stink bug, Look for two white bands on the antenna of brown marmorated stink bug. There are no bands on other stink bugs' antenna. Brown marmorated stink bug has marble brown legs with a faint white band. By contrast, the conspire stink bug has distinct dark spots on its legs. Brown marmorated stink bug is three quarter of an inch long. By contrast, Conspire stink bug is relatively smaller, about half inch long. Unlike brown marmorated stink bug, predatory rough stink bug has a tooth on each side of the face, spines on its shoulders, and lacks the distinct white bands on the antenna. Check traps weekly for adults or nymphs and record trap counts. Once counted, remove all insects and debris from the trap. Change the sticky panels as needed and replace lures by following the manufacturer recommendation. Leave traps in the orchard until late fall when adults begin to move from the orchard to overwintering shelters. In addition to trapping, begin scouting for live brown marmorated stink bug and its feeding damage in the orchard by mid-March. Pay close attention to the fruits and fruit-bearing twigs on the sunny side of the tree. Also note if early in star brown marmorated stink bug nymphs and its barrel-shaped egg masses, which are usually found in cluster of 28, are found on the underside of the leaves. Observe and record when nut damage occurs to distinguish brown marmorated stink bug damage from damage caused by other pests such as leaf footed bug. While brown marmorated stink bug can cause damage starting in mid March for several weeks to months, leaf footed bug damage often occurs for a short period of time around mid April to early May. If trapping or not damage suggests brown marmorated stink bug presence in the orchard, consider bit seed sampling for confirmation. Select a minimum of five border trees per block to sample. 
Sample trees in the early mornings, when adults are colder and less likely to fly away or hide before proper identification is possible. You will need a beating tray and a padded pole or dowel to strike the branches. Place the tray beneath the tree's foliage and sharply strike the branch, supporting the foliage two to three times to dislodge the bugs from the tree. Count the number of sting bug adults and nymphs that fall into the tray and record your results. If brown marmorated sting bug is identified in your orchard, contact your local UC Cooperative Extension Advisor to assist in determining an appropriate management program. For more information on identification, monitoring and management of brown marmorated stink bug and other stink bug pests of almonds, visit the University of California statewide integrated pest management programs, invasive and exotic pest webpage, and the pest management guidelines for almonds.